Hello, my name is Starla Henderson and this is Front House Quilts. And today we are continuing to work on our sunflower uh, blocks for our summer sampler. And we're going to be gluing this center together, gluing the petals together in preparation for sewing them together. It's a glue basting is what we're doing. I've been experimenting with all kinds of glue. And last week when we did um, our templates, when we glued our fabric around our templates, doing this turn, this is turned edge applique. It's already turned for you. This is just one technique. And I tweaked this technique. It's actually very similar to what people do for machine applique. However, we put two pieces of uh, freezer paper together to give it more body. And there's several reasons why, and as I approach them, I'll tell you. And so do not do this by machine with two pieces because it's going to mess up your machine. Your needle's not going to want to go through it very easily. But it's great for hand. So here we go. This, and I've used a different type of glue. We're going to use a different kind of glue. Last week we used a glue stick, and all of our glue is water soluble. It washes out. That's a very key thing. Do not get a permanent glue. This week, what I'm using for this, pro this part is just Elmer's school glue. Uh, wash it washes out. It's a very good glue, and I have bought and you can, I got this one at um, a hobby store, and it's uh, you find it where they um, have like paints and things that you're going to you know dyeing for t-shirts and such. You'll find things like this there, and that's where I found these. And I've got several different kinds. This is the one that I'm using. But the key to any bottle is you want it to have a very very just like a pinhole tip and that's what this has got because you don't want much glue coming out at a time so I just moved my glue from the Elmer's bottle into this one and we're going to be using that here in just a minute I also like this one because it's got a cap on it and I can recap it and keep my glue from drying out so the first thing I do and I've already started this and you'll see here in just a minute is I lay out as you remember before we we numbered our template or we numbered our pattern then we did the same thing to our template before we cut it out and now I've got all those pieces lined out on a piece of paper that I can work from and um, as I put them together so I'm going to move this one out of the way and move this where you can see it a little bit better here here we go I've already started the whole idea you're going to be because we drew this in reverse when we made our template we do that part in, in reverse. So now you're going to work from the top part of your pattern. You can use a light box. You're still going to need your pattern there, but I've discovered I can do just as well without it. But if it works better for you to put this on a light box, then do so. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to find the very first piece, and I've already started that. And you're going to line it up, and you're going to then line up your second piece. And if you, you can see, this is a, a piece that goes under this piece. And I've actually got them separated like that on my uh, paper so I don't have to, what, you know, so I'm, I can go back and forth more easily. And I, I start that. And we're going to continue all the way around. But you're going to go under and over. And then this one's under these two and over. And here's how I do it. We're ready for piece six. And I'm going to lay this down on top of what's already there. I'm going to line it up just make sure it's going to fit the way I want it to. Now I'm going to put just a little bit of glue right here on the seam allowance underneath. So I'm going to turn this over, keeping this where I want it. You just have to be a little careful. It's really not hard. And I'm just going to put either just little dots of glue or a little fine line of glue, whichever works best for you. You just want a little bit. You don't want a lot. Just like that and look what I did and this is easy to do I put it on the wrong side so mark that off that's one thing about the glue <laughs> it's easy to fix alright do it on the correct side Starla you're going to put it on the seam allowance just a little bit when I'm filming and such sometimes I make little, little mistakes I make them when I'm not filming too okay now I've got the glue where I want it I'm going to once again line this up with the point, line this up with this side over here holding what I've already glued down 
and just making sure it all fits, covers up, fits within my pattern. I'm going to press it down, press it down here, got it all lined up, and then just to make it stick, I'm going to heat set it with an iron, just hit it with that iron a little bit. And then you've got, let's pull it back up a little bit, then you've got that glued together right there. And you're ready to go on to the next piece. If it helps, and I think I will go ahead and do that so I don't get in your way, you can take a little bit of masking tape, and just, just a little bit, and put it on your pattern like that, and just glue that in place so it holds it sure it's in place. There we go. And that'll help help you hold this where you want it. Okay. Now I'm going to take the next piece. And the next piece, number seven, in in line here, and they're marked on my template like a and I'm gonna see where it goes. And it's gonna slide just right underneath here. Like that. Okay. So I'm going to peel this back and mark just put just a little bit of glue on it. I'm sorry you um, can't let, put that in camera very well, but you're just going to put three dots of glue on the seam allowance that you're getting ready to glue to, glue to your next piece. I'm going to put my next piece in place where I want it and make sure this goes back in place where I want it. You hold it all together and you press it down. And then you, you're going to heat set that. Now, usually, whenever I'm doing this, and I don't have um, to worry about the camera, I don't glue that down. I just hold it, but or, I mean tape it down. I just hold it. But it might help you if you're having trouble keeping it where you want it. See, and I'm going to do this all the way around the rest of this with all of my petals, putting the ones that go on top on top of the ones that go underneath and you, you remember the ones that go underneath you have these little unders they don't you don't turn them so they're going to there's that seam allowance goes underneath another seam allowance now i do not do my center yet the center is going to go right here eventually i'm going to sew this first it just seems to work out better that way for me and I will sew all of this, and then I will put this on. You know, everybody's different. If it works better for you to go ahead and glue that center on, then go ahead. For some reason, it just works better for me to do it this way. It, there's really no right or wrong. It's, it, what's, it's what works for you, so try it both ways. And sometimes I might do it this way, just depending upon the flower. But I'm going to, next week, I will show you how I sew these together. And it's really very simple because your your edges are already turned. But make sure as you're putting this together to keep this as close to your pattern as you can. And it will be it will be very accurate. So for next week we will be stitching these together. This week go ahead and finish getting your petals glued together just like I showed you. And um next week we will do the sewing. This is Starla Henderson with Fronter House Quilts. Um, we're working on our sunflower for our summer sampler. Thank you for joining me.